I have some bad news. So I got up this morning, 5.30, went and did all my farm chores. Then I had to jump in the car and take my dad to the hospital. So while I was at the hospital today with my dad, the group home was here at Steen's Farmhouse taking care of things. They came and they fed my pigs, they cleaned out my brooder, and they cleaned out the rabbit cages. Are y'all ready? Today, my preaching stick died. And I'm so upset. And I'm at the store where my preaching stick was born and I'm scared they're going to tell me that I have to give it back in order to get a new preaching stick and I'm really sad. All right, I'm taking the preaching stick to the store. I'm so scared she's going to tell me I have to give my preaching stick back and I don't know what to do. picked up. Hey, hey baby girl. <laughs> hey, you calm down. Come on. Oh, piggy. Oh, goodness. Come here. Come here. Hey. <laughs> they literally hate to be picked up. But once you, you know, let them go, they'll usually come up to you and love on you come here piggy <laughs> come here come here come here piggy come here come here. <laughs> i got you i got you <laughs> oh you're, hey you're nothing but drama bunch of squealing little kids goodness gracious so over here in this area is where queso lives queso is not quite big enough to have a full outdoor enclosure yet but he sure is getting there come on queso a lot of people they don't understand the connection that <clears throat> i have with queso and yes he's a tortoise but i spend a lot of time with queso don't i buddy because you know as queso grows bigger and bigger and bigger I want to make sure that I keep him super tame. And <clears throat> as you can see, his legs are a little white. So what that tells me is it's time for a soak. But first, I'm gonna give him some loving. Did you have a good day? Hmm? Did you even notice I was gone? Hmm? Did you enjoy your supper I bought you? You had a good supper last night. You had some tomatoes, some carrots, some broccoli, cauliflower. He's looking at me. Hey, buddy. Let me scratch you. Here. <clears throat> you want to get up so you can scratch? 
Uh, see if he scratches. He normally like scratches when I do this. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I love you. Yes, I do. You're going to go get a bath. Yes, you are. Because you need it. Whew. Bye, Queso. I'll be back to give you a bath. So, usually during the day when I don't have tours or a field trip, you hear the pigs. Um, it's usually when I really get to spend time with the animals and try to develop some training and do a little bit of work around here. Yesterday, I cleaned out the duck pond. It looks so much better. I've been in kind of a slump today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Just, you know how sometimes you just feel sad? That's how I've been feeling today. That's not good. So I often try to really keep my life balanced and work on keeping myself like spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically in balance. And sometimes that's hard, but I try to do it every day. I work at it. And today, because I feel a little off, I think I'm gonna go to the creek today and see what I can discover. So I'm here on the trail and I'm gonna walk to the creek and I thought I would take you along. And as I walk down this trail, I think about this trail being a trail of, of life and how you have choices in life to sit it out or to dance and how I try to encourage you guys to dance every single day. I'm coming up on the creek. Coming down here to the creek gets me to mindfulness pretty fast. Um, it's just so beautiful, um, especially this time of year where the, the trees, the leaves are falling and so forth. Now, right now, as you see, the creek is not flowing. It does when it's hot, it will uh, dry up a little bit, but it's still beautiful. See how gorgeous? We have plenty of river rock. So this is one side of the bridge. Here's once again where we're gonna put the cabin, considering the putting the cows down here. And here's the other side of the creek, just gorgeous. So right now, I'm going to just look for something that not what am I looking for? Let me think about what I want to look for. I want to look for something that gets my mind off what's all happened today. So I'm just going to explore and see what I come up with. Okay, first is this, this footprint. I'm thinking a raccoon, that's what I think. But look at this footprint. I'm thinking a coyote, I don't know. That's what it, it reminds me of. We do have a lot of coyotes down here. Shane did put a coyote trap over here. So if I see a coyote, I'm going to. <laughs> if I drop the camera and just start screaming, y'all know why. All right, let's sneak over here. Gosh, Shane needs to bush hog. Maybe I need to get on the tractor and bush hog. All right, I do not see. Let me show you his little concoction. He's so funny, he cracks me up. This is his little booby trap for, um, for coyotes. Okay, <laughs> this is his plan. Okay, this is what it looks like. So he got sticks and he built up sticks, but he see how he left a hole right there? So, okay. There has to be some type of trap over here, Lord. I'm gonna come over here and get trapped in. Okay, did he take the trap down? Let's see. I don't see. He had this little trap that traps the coyotes in there, but 
I sure ain't gonna go through that hole to try to figure it out, but I don't see the trap. So maybe he took it down. Thank goodness he took it down. So like I say, because if I don't walk, right now I'm walking in the water. So I saw, you hear the water? I'm walking in the middle because I saw this beautiful, look, isn't this pretty? I don't know what it is, but it sure is a pretty flower. And it looks like it has like, it looks like a raindrop. I know it's not, but that looks like a raindrop. So pretty. So oftentimes I come and sit right there and just put my thinking cap on. <laughs> Isn't that a scary thought? And just try to think about what God wants me to do with my farm and making sure that I'm doing all that I'm supposed to be doing to be given back. I want to share with you a story today. And I'm going to sit here on this rock and tell you the story. It's very emotional to me. So let's hope I don't cry. Okay. Often... You know, I have no idea how God's going to use me uh, with this farm. And every time I think that this is the way he's going to use me, I find him using me in all different ways that I never even dreamt of. But today I received a phone call about an orphan. And I pray I can make a difference in his life. So be praying for me as well. It's very emotional. Uh, a lot of times when I get phone calls from people uh, telling me that their child needs their Aunt Judy or grandchild or whatever, and they reach out to me, and um, I just, I just hope that I always give back. I pr I pray that as my page grows and I grow. I pray that I'm able to reach more and more people that need love. I'm walking up here and this is where Shane has been storing the wood that we're planning to build for the cabin. The cabin's gonna be up here on this hill. We have 17 acres. And I envision the cows coming down here at some point and us, you know, planting more grass and getting rid of some trees so some more grass can grow. But all that is the wood for our cabin. And our cabin's gonna go somewhere right in here. A lot of beautiful things down here at the creek and it's so quiet um, but I need to go check on my dad he's <laughs> he is wiped out I guess um, when they did his biopsy today they gave him Valium and it has taken him for a tailspin so I told him to go get in the bed, and he's been in the bed ever since we got home. And I keep going there, just putting my hand on him to make sure he's breathing. And he is. He's just, bless his heart, he's going through so much. And um, I just pray that God will give me lots of patience. Look at this footprint. What the heck is that? I don't know. And then there's a, that's a raccoon or something, but that's too small to be a cow. But look at that. That's a big old buck. <laughs> Shane, wait, look, there's another one. What is that? I don't know. I think Bigfoot's down here on my property. I forgot to say happy nine month old birthday to sweet Taterbug. 
often I talk about the feathers that I collect, but I have to show you this feather. Do you know who or what kind of animal this came off of? Any ideas? You know, I have turkeys, chickens, ducks, and peacocks for my poultry. So, I'll let you know at the end. I also noticed that my mama chicken out here, you know, the mama chicken and the mama turkey have been sharing motherhood. And she started out with 22. And then two of them died. And now I'm counting about, let me see, one, let me show you. So, can y'all help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I count ten. So she's lost a couple of babies today. So I need to go see if I see any. The FedEx guy's here. Wonder what he dropped off. Shane's gonna go, what did you order this time? I don't think I've ordered anything. So have y'all sent me something? Because I've been getting a lot of gifts in the mail lately. Hmm. Let's go look. I'm hearing baby chicks. So let, let's go see if we can find them. I wonder if they've gotten away from their mom and or doesn't know where to go. But I hear them. Let's go look. You're going to die where you see where these chicks are. So I have this over here. And somehow, all these chicks got in here and can't get out. Oh my goodness. Well, at least they're not dead. But now I gotta figure out, I gotta move all this and figure out how to get them out of this box. Oh my goodness. How did y'all get in here? Oh, I guess, I guess I'm gonna have to move all this wood. How in the world? I knew I heard baby chicks. Let's see how many's in here. I said, what did I say? There were 10 over there? Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, how in the How did y'all get in here? Okay, one, there are five in here. Come here, baby. Go find your mama. Come on. There's one left. Oh, goodness. Go find your mama. <laughs> How in the world, those little rascals? So I guess she hasn't lost any. But that's why I never leave my farm. Because, see, they'd have been stuck in there with no food and water all day. The other day on one of my lives, I talked to y'all about molting i told you about this chicken that is so ugly right now and it's a frizzle chicken and i want to show you what she looks like look at her oh my goodness she's god love her look is that not awful is so don't tell her she's ugly though because she'll, she'll get her feelings hurt you look so pretty, baby girl. You gonna get those feathers back. Yes, you are. So this feather is a peacock feather. Isn't it beautiful? So much you can make with that. All right. You subscribers are so good to me. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh my goodness. I know who sent me these. So, these are chairs for my education center so that kids can sit on them. And there's five. No, there's four. Thank you. Thank you. So, now it's time for me to put up my farm hat, put up my, 
my entertaining hat and it's time to put on my caregiver hat and take care of my dad. Have no fear. There's a new preaching stick here. I'll see you Monday.